I'm Nick Miles. We've rounded up the top news stories just for you today on the Fast Lane Car. An extensive list of new vehicles has been teased or introduced this week. The Acura RLX gets a much needed makeover with a new Diamond Pentagon grille, wider muscular looks, 377 horsepower sports hybrid, and a jump in standard tech. And Infinity stole the show this week with their Prototype 9 retro race car. Mercedes Benz' parent company is making a big investment in a flying taxi startup. Daimler invested $30 million in German Volocopter. Volocopter electric flying taxis are designed to shuttle passengers around Dubai as part of a five-year testing program. The test will begin at the end of this year. They've been working on vertical takeoff and landing aircraft since 2011. Their taxi would be able to take off without a runway. The aircraft, dubbed the Volocopter 2X, is the second generation vehicle already approved as an ultralight vehicle in Germany. It can recharge in just 40 minutes from a fast DC charging system. And finally, Chevrolet have introduced a new car for the next year's NASCAR Cup Series, a Camaro ZL1. The Chevy Camaro only has two Cup victories to its credit, both with Tiny Lund in 1971. More recently, the Camaro SS has been Chevrolet's entry in the Xfinity Series since 2013. Chevrolet flooded social media with pictures of the new car, announcing that it's officially here and that it will be coming to a racetrack near you in 2018. Chevy introduced the new race car in an outdoor ceremony in downtown Detroit. Seven-time cup champion Jamie Johnson drove the car along Jefferson Avenue before pulling it in front of the Renaissance Center, the headquarters of General Motors. Many fans have been hoping the Camaro would make a return to the Cup Series. Of course, if you'd like to see more videos and find out the latest on new cars, trucks and SUVs, the one place to go is the Fast Lane Car. I'm Nick Miles.